that is also okay because you're now going to be the audience team. So we have, we're going to have six teams in total, uh, but to that point, everyone can participate. The teams were uh, created for a little bit of competitiveness, um, but most importantly, we're here. Um, we're going to spend some time together, an hour together as a one CRE team. We're going to have some fun and we're going to listen to some really great music. Um, so just on the scoring front, going to be pretty straightforward. The first correct answer in the chat box. So we're going to keep track in the chat box. Um, that scores a point for that respective team. So at the end of the day, we're going to add it all up and those, you know, really, uh, really important bragging rights will go to that team for, uh, for the one that got the most answers correct. So just if you're wondering if there is a team that enters an incorrect answer is maybe too fast at the gate and um, put something that maybe isn't the right either song or musician in the chat box, but then a team member comes back and swoops into the rescue um, and gets it right before anyone else, that team still gets the point. Um, if you can uh, remember your team, your team name, uh, you can mention it right when the answer is declared that that was correct in the chat. That makes it a little bit easier for those of us who are scoring, but we will be, we'll be checking just to make sure. And of course, the chat box isn't just for the answers. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some banter in there as well. I already have visions of Paul Whelan's name popping up several times. Uh, so that's all part of the fun as well. Um, so that's it for me. And I'm going to hand it back over to Don to get started. Hey, Nick, thanks. Uh, great job of, uh, oh, I like that. Let the fun begin. And uh, thanks, Steve, for the introduction. And uh, we go way back now. And uh, again, I'm a Toronto artist. And uh, we've all had a pivot through COVID. And since uh, I, uh, you know, lost a lot of work, the entertainment space, and we've all had a change. So I knew 750 to 1000 songs. And I thought, what can I do with that? What can I offer? And so I came up with live music trivia. And here we are. It's it's pretty crazy. So I thought I would just start off just to take the edge off. And I'm going to play a little Bob Marley song, um, a worldly tune. How about one love? And then I'm going to explain how we're going to do this a little bit further. Okay, so just relax. And I want to see some comments in the chat. Let's get used to it. Ready? One love. Caribbean, we got Europe, Canada, US, not the whole world, but pretty much we're covering it all. So I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to do a warm up round with you guys. And this is going to get really intense, okay? Because so we got the chat. I love it. I like it. Let the slagging begin. I love it. Okay. So this gets very quick. And the way we do it is just the first person to get it right because it's going to explode the chat. So this is a warm up. Round. This doesn't count at all. Okay. We just want to get going. So I'm going to do, I'm going to play a song and I'll first one to get the title of the song. 
gets it right. The title, I want the title. Okay. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light you see, who put lean on me? It's stand by me. So we look at it, and Nick is our taker. We look at so who's the first person to put stand by me? And that's the winner. So, so uh, it's it's a lot more difficult with this many people, but I think it was Chris Narilha. If okay. I can see yeah. just scrolling through a lot of answers. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to type in stab by me. <laughs> stab by me. Yeah, it, that was a typo. <laughs> so the funny part is that everybody does it so fast that you're just kind of ah, right? And you gotta so stab my stab by me is wrong. Uh stand by me. Okay, so let's just do another tune. And uh yeah, let's uh see if you can get it. Very <laughs> beautiful. Superstitious, right? Very easy. There it is. Superstition is the right answer. What superstitious is this? <laughs> and guys, yeah, how do please, we feel about typos, guys? You know, it can be I think... close. I, you know, uh, you know, really, it's up to Steve. He, you know, he he can overrule if it comes down that it's that close. Steve will. Uh, He'll make that decision so it's off of me. <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. Okay, that think, sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds I good. Think Jeremy Diamond, Jeremy Diamond came right out the gate. Uh, not quite spelled correctly, but I think his intention was there. Followed up really quickly by Eric Williams from our EMEA team. Okay. So, guys, bravo. Okay. And if if there's any uh, witty remarks out there, I mean, we can use the chat, but you can just kind of briefly come in if you want to say something off mic. That's, you know, I encourage it. Okay, so now I want the artist. I want the artist. Not the song title. Give me the artist, the full artist name, okay? Sunshine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. I've got the month for me. Well, I guess you say so. Which I'm one of the Temptations, who released it? Who released it? Um, Smokey Robinson, I'm impressed that you knew that. Um, that helped write the song. Uh, so it is Temptations. Okay. Good job. Okay, so who got Temptations? And, uh, you that know, is, Nick. That's Kai, Ray. Don. Pardon? Kai got Temptations. Okay. Awesome. So the chat kind of explodes at some time. So Srini, if you're out there or if others want to help, you can help weigh in and uh, help Nick out because it's kind of, as we get rolling, it is a lot. It's a lot to do. So it's a lot of work for Nick, but uh, you know, he's got it. He's, he's a good man. So I think we're doing the official, we're starting, I think you guys got it. It's pretty straightforward. I'll tell you what I want and that's it. That's what we're gonna do. So, okay. So round one is gonna be working through the decades. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the fifties and move all the way up to now. So that's your only clue is this is from the fifties and I want the song title. There we go. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine. 
I walk the line. I walk the line. Walk the line is fine. So, who got walk the line first? Steve? Well done. That is Steve, but it's just Steve by the first name. So, we've got a celebrity, I think, in here. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Which one, which Steve this would be? We know it's not Steve Rollins because it was typed too quickly. Uh, it's, yeah, it can't be Steve Rollins. <laughs> and it was accurate. It was accurate. Uh, I don't know, but there's, somebody, there's somebody else that got before me, no? Or did you get it? Yeah, I'm so I, impressed. I think I, you should give it to me. I can't believe it. I'd be okay with that. I guess we can't find out the last name there. Okay. We should have our last names on. Yeah, what other Steves do we have on? We've got, do we have Steve Martin or is this Steve Baird? Is it the, uh, the usernames are throwing me off a bit. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll do, let's Team go Steve. to the next one, Don. Okay, let's go to the next one. Maybe everyone could can change their name to their la have their last name there too. That might be easier. I okay. don't know if that's a... So then, the next up with Walk the Line was Jake Matacat. Okay. Okay, let's move it up. So, you got that? Let's move up to the 60s. Here we go. I want the song title. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. And I meant for someone else and not for me. Love is out to get me. That's the way it seems. Disappointed, haunted all my dreams. I'm a believer. You guys are fast. It's good. Shrek, Shrek was a very good, good guess, though, Paul. <laughs> very good. That would be the well, movie. We yeah, have, I like it. I we, like it. We have a seasoned um, answerer from the JLL team, Jeremy Diamond, who came in right off the bat on on that one with I'm a Believer. Yeah, okay. I love it. I also love Jennifer's comment, Justin Belieber. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some side, a side category for uh, 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 those jokes. One point for Jennifer. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the 70s. This is going to be fast. So I found my way now that I'm on my own. I saw you just the other day. Man, my, you have grown. Yes, my baby, back to the old brown eyed girl. Picking a mouth. Making love in the green grass behind the snow I'm with you. Brown eyed girl. I still want the song title, so good job. So who got that one? Got the band. Don that was Kai. Okay. Nicely Kai. done. Nice. That was that was good. And I started in the third verse too. So um I can make start making them a little harder as we go. So this is this is the easy round here. All right. All right, the chat's gonna explode with this one coming out of the 80s. Well, she's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. Well, the thing was fresh as a bright blue sky. Now and then when I see her face, she takes me away. Special place to stay out too long, probably break down and cry. Sweet child of mine. Nice. Okay. Good job. Good job. All right. Those are on it. We got a lot of correct answers on that one, Don. A couple of spelling mistakes. Uh, <laughs> things that I'm trying to pull together. Yeah. Um, so on this one, we did have. Uh, Steve Gang, who put his name back, or his full name in, which is great, because I think Steve got that previous. Thank you. Uh, filling out Sweet Child of Mine. Well done. I'm so impressed. I did see the chat explode with that. I was like, okay. Okay. All right, now, I, uh, 
I want to, let's move up to the 90s here. This is going to be a little tougher, but if you, if you really know your 90s, you're, you're going to, you're going to know this one. I want the song title. Might be a little trickier. And I really want to know, my baby. I want to say, I, it's Santeria. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm like, if you know it, you know it. But not everybody knows that. And I'm impressed. So Mark got it. Mark got it and redeemed himself on this one. So that well done, Mark. Huge. That was like, I think we're going to have a world record here for fastest answer. Correct. Um, so, okay. Let's move up to the 2000s here, guys. Song title. You got the afternoon. We got this room for two. Hi. One thing I've left to do. Discovering, discovering you. Your body is a wonderland, is the right. Okay. Your body is as wonderland. Hmm. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> take that one. Jeremy, you got that one. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Good, good stuff. Okay. Let's move on to round two. I'm just going to say we're on round two now. That's, this is good because I wanted to do a little around the world uh, ish. So, you know, we got some Canadians here and I'm in Toronto. So, and I was born in Edmonton, raised in Oakville, London and in Toronto. So this is for the Canadians. This is a Canadian tune. And uh, let's see, let's see if you can get it. I want, I want the band name though, the band name, not the song title. A very good friend of mine told me something the other day I like to pass it on to you Cause I believe what is said to be true I said boy he for a good time Spice Girls <laughs> Spice Girls Renee Samard <laughs> Spice Girls, come on I like it, that's some good quality Canadian content, Spice Girls no, it's Trooper. Trooper is the right answer. Oh, no! Steve, you got it. Look at that. I love it. Good job. This wasn't fixed, by the way. That why that song was not planted on my behalf. Yeah. Steve, wow, I, Steve I gotta I gotta weigh in here just maybe as the official judge because I think Dave Robson actually pulled it first. Oh no. You, you did yeah, get it, right. but but I think he was number one that came up. So oh. I'm sorry to take that one away from you. Well, there is a second place award, isn't there? Or fifth place, maybe? But see, seeing yeah. the sheer excitement there was worth it for us all. I, I agree, Nick. That was incredible. I was so excited for you, Steve. Oh. Because oh. last time we did this, Steve, I don't think, got one. <laughs> <laughs> and we were rooting for you. I was rooting for you. All right. Um. So... Okay, guys, let's take it to the U.S. We're taking it to the U.S. I want the band name, the artist's name, the full name. I get up in the evening And I ain't got nothing to say I come home in the morning I couldn't bear the feeling the same way And then I ain't no desire just out and fool myself, baby, baby. And I could do just a little help. You can't start a fire. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce, that's the acceptable answer. I love and the E Street Band. That's good, Mark. But Bruce Springsteen. Oh, Ro Robson got that too. Oh, do you guys got the E Street Band? Okay. I was thinking Bruce Springsteen. Um, 
is good enough versus Bruce or the boss. Uh, those, you know, so. So, uh, Should we Dylan, give? I saw a nice suggestion. We'll see if we'll put you on your toes over this lunch hour. Somebody, I think it was Paul, asked for a special UK round. A so special? For our you... friends across the pond. We'll put you on your toes. You don't have to do it right away. And see if you can pull some of that off. Well, we could do that for round three. Okay. Absolutely. Just get warmed up. See, that's a that's a great request. Um, because I was thinking of doing it. Maybe I'll save the UK. We'll, we'll save the UK songs and maybe I'll do, uh, one from uh, the Caribbean here. Now I don't know too many Caribbean songs and, you know, um, and they're much harder to play <laughs> because okay. it's, it's deeply rooted in great, great music. And uh, so I want the song title because you'll know the artist, but I want the song title of this. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Pitch by my nostalgia, where are you singing sweet songs? Melodies pure and true Singing This is my message To you cuckoo. Three little birds Don't worry About a thing So who got that Nick? That was Little Mark little thing Mark It's gonna be alright It's one of, my, one of my favorite songs of his. Bob Marley of course Of course you know, if you're ever, in, you know, there's nothing like a mood lifter like Bob Marley. You know, it's, it's incredible. So we got that, Nick? Yeah, yeah. we got that one. Mark Tanaguzu, again, bringing himself back. Okay. All right. We're going to skip the UK because we're going to do a round dedicated to UK. So I'm going to come back to Canada here. Okay. Oh. All right, watch the Canadians explode this one here. Ready? I'm not even going to sing. I want the artist. I want the artist. You see how well we know that song? I got my first real six string. Good job. I saw that explode. So it's, it's amazing how well we know that, right? Just the just that intro. Nick, yeah, if you could just note that I did I came seventh on that one. I'm pretty happy with that. Seven. Hey. It's hard to keep track of both. You know, who got first and where did Steve fall in the <laughs> in the list? But I think <laughs> I think Garth Lee was first out of the gate with that one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe we get a good job on that. Uh Maybe we could have a separate tracker for Steve. That that could be interesting. The problem is my fingers are too far away from my brain, I think. You know it's funny because if I was a, if I was playing with you guys, I'm such a slow typer, so I I would know it, but I couldn't wouldn't be able to get it down. It would just come out as a bunch of blah. All right. So, let's go to uh let's go let's go to the US here, guys. And uh, I want the artist. I want the artist. Ready? I'm packed in, I'm holding, I'm smiling, she living, she golden, she lives to me, says to listen to me, a nation. Her own motivation, she comes down, she goes down to me. And I like a smile, like a joke for you. Do what you want to do, but come on over to, to keep on smiling, but we go through. I won't stop to the rhythm that divides you. Van Helen. You guys are cracking me up. Um, that was Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind. All right, Mark Mark T is back full force. He got that one as well. Save some for the rest of us, right? Yeah. 
All right. Okay, third eye blind. And then uh, let's do, uh, okay, let's do, uh, where were we? US, let's go back to, uh, I want, okay, so which country did this song originate from? Guantanamera, you're me a Guantanamera. Guantanamera, you're me a Guantanamera. Cuba, Cuba. I typed in. I typed in the first country that came to my mind before you started playing a song. <laughs> it's true. Maybe <laughs> I shouldn't give such a good, such a lead up. I should just start right away, and maybe I should do that. So Cuba is the right answer. All right, gonna, that it, is, and that's an that's, old uh, Cuban folk song. They have their folk songs, which I love too. And uh, and not one artist made it famous. One of this, the Social Club covered it too um but love it um okay so let's do another canadian song and then i think we should get into the uk show them some love i want uh okay i want the canadian artist i want to live i want to give i've been a minor It's these expressions I'll never get that keeps me searching for a heart of gold. Neil Young is the right answer. Neil Young is Canadian. He didn't know that. He is. He's been living in the States for a while. But uh, yeah, from, I believe, Winnipeg. A lot of great talent came from Winnipeg, Canada. Okay, so let's let's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Nick, did you get the right answer? I think so. Again, this one's tough because there was a couple different iterations of the name that came in, but we're gonna we're gonna share the love a little with this one and give it to uh, Paul Paul Whalen for it was a the closest shot out of the gate, I think. Okay. Good job. At least job. at least pronunciation wise. Yeah, yeah, right. Versus uh, Neil Ong. Okay, uh, <laughs> I love the answers. It's like Blue Rodeo, uh, Drake, or you just you just put it out there. It's good. Okay, you guys ready for the UK? Okay, I gotta make this one. All right, I want the song title of this UK song. There are places I remember all my life. Some have changed, some forever not for better. Some have gone, some remain in my life, in my life. In my life, I loved you more. I saw some all We did have a few folks get that one uh, done. A lot of all Nick, my I, life, but a couple Nick, in my you life. Might have to lean, you might have to lean to Peter Healy for accuracy on that one. <laughs> I think so. Peter, you can take that one. And, and I said from the get-go, Steve overrules all, okay? So, you know. <laughs> all right, got strawberry fields. <laughs> I love I love you guys. You guys are pretty funny out there. It's good. It's good. I like it. I'm I'm like it. Okay, so I want the song title. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I was around for long, long years. I've stolen many a man's soul and days. Hope you guess my name. I love that tune. What a good song. Sympathy for the devil. 
is the right answer. Okay. The right answer, the first one we got is Garth Lee on that one. Way to go, Garth. That came in really fast. I'm pretty impressed. This is gonna be this is gonna be hard. You you gotta you gotta know the dance. I want the song, I want the song title. I've been loving you till 70. And God in my heart is still falling as hard at 23. Oh, I. Part of the plan. No one's got it yet. Yeah, me, I fall in love with you every single day. I just want to tell you I am. So, honey, now, thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Yeah, Ed I don't Sheeran. know if we got that title. We did get Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran was, um, is the artist. I was looking for the song title. Oh, there we go. Jeremy Diamond did pull Thinking Out Loud. Huge. But that was just a minute ago. So was that after we said it, Jeremy? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to trick me. It's enough time to Google it. How fast are your Google capabilities? Because sometimes, sometimes people don't get the title and it sits there for a second. So that's well, Eric good. Williams made a really good point about Shazam. So hopefully none of you will have Shazam by the side of your laptop and using that trick. It's a good idea though. <laughs> yeah, you have your phone. Whoever's doing this uh, is disqualified. <laughs> okay. I want the song title. This one's this one's this one's tough. Even harder than the last one. In oh, 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 you don't have to go. Oh, 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 and you don't have to go. Oh, 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 and you don't have to go. Guess we have some Zeppelin fans. Good job. Dire this is a tight race on Jamaica. Tight race with a lot of people come in at a 1237. Um, yeah. But Garth Lee was first on the list. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. Without the, the proper apostrophes, that's fine. I'm not even sure where they go. But I guess they went to, uh, they went to Jamaica to record and that's, that's pronounced Jamaica. Anyways. So, uh, okay, so let's do another UK song on the spot here. Um, hmm. I like it. I want the song title. Is it getting better? Do you feel the same? Will it make it easier on you now? That you got so on the thing you say. Not one uh, nicely done, Eric. I think Eric got that one. Nicely done. Right. Right. He does say one love. You might think it's one love, but one. Finally. Thank you. Very good. And uh, how about we do? How about we do one more UK song? If I can, uh, if I can think of one. Oh, I I got it. I got it. 
but, but I can just say that is a great point. Um, the the um the band U two are from Ireland. They're not from the UK. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Huge fail. Uh, minus two points for me. Yeah. There was a couple chat call outs on that, Don. So Eric, thanks for for voicing up on that. I you know I appreciate it because people think Neil Young is American, so it's it's very it's very similar, you know. Um, I I appreciate that. We do appreciate that. So you can't really say that that's a UK song because the band was made up more Americans than there were of UK artists. But he did write it, right? Uh, with help from Bobby Whitlock. So it was it was written by both Americans and 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 UK. So you know what I like it. It's not just trivia. It's history and facts. Factual. It's like our own Wikipedia here. Did you know? <laughs> About Harrison, George Harrison's wife, Patty Boyd. Yep. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for that. I, I yeah. know I appreciate that. I love I love music history. It's it's incredible. So trivia good job, and guys. some history. Don, just on on that one, we did have John Hamilton take that. I think uh, from the West Coast. I think he's gotten through his first coffee or two, and he's on the ball now. So we're ready to go. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, good job. Good job, everybody. So I say at this point, uh, we go back through, uh, I was thinking we go back through the decades and uh, start through there. And then this is just kind of, you know, there might be UK, might be Ireland, uh, might be uh, the Caribbean. It could be Canada, US, pop, rock. Let's just go. And, and Don, Don, I think with the time we have left, people can throw some uh, curves at you. Throw some um, requests into the chat as well and see what Don can do. Let's put him on his toes. Yeah, I love it. You know, if you want me to do a little half a song or the best Jennifer Lopez, come on. You want me to do Jen? Do I look like I can do Jennifer Lopez? You want me to shake my butt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Beethoven, like you guys are, yeah. Well, if around what I've been doing, if you have any requests for certain artists that I might be able to do, then I could do it. I probably can't do Motorhead. Uh, if Blue Rodeo is a good request that I actually don't have, but uh, uh, keep keep them coming, keep the requests coming, and uh, until then, I'll keep the I'll keep the trivia going. I love it. Oh, I could I could probably do a hip song. Um, why don't I do a, why don't I do a, a little round here and then I'll do a hip song. I like that. That's good. That's good Canadian content. I'm a Toronto boy, so. Uh, but this is from the '60s, and I want the first song title. I want the whole song title here. Ooh, I bet you wanna have on you. About your plans to make do. Oh, where some other guy you knew before, but we not two of us got. No, I loved you more. It took me that surprise, I must say. Then I found out yesterday. I heard it through the grapevine. All right. <laughs> heard it through the grapevine, I will accept. I think Kai's back on that one, Don. Yeah. I think okay. he was the first one heard it through the grapevine. Yeah. Okay. And a couple more, and then I'm going to do a hip tune. So let's uh, let's move up to, I want to jump around just because we only have so much time. And you guys were so on the ball with the 80s. So I want to do another 80s tune just because I love it. I love them all, but. And just a small town girl living in a lonely world. It took the midnight train going anywhere. Singing in a smoky room. Don't 
stop believing. Okay. Journey is right too. I was looking for don't stop believing. Tom Petty. I don't know if that's a joke. <laughs> that is good. All right. Jeremy Diamond came through with don't stop believing. Okay. I love it. Now, um, I want for this 90s song, this 90s band, I'm looking for the band. They released it. They didn't write it. They covered this song. I'm looking for the band name from this 1990s song. And baby, here I am, I'm the man on your scene. And I can't give you what you want, but you gotta come home with me. And I have got some good old loving, and I got some of my own store. When I get through throwing on you, you know you're coming back for more. Boys, come along now, mother, does it? That ain't no the fact is still loving it. Really, the thing that me like your chemicals, the mama, I'm sure I'd had enough. It's around. Black Crows. Black Crows is right. Do rot. Way to go, Stu. Very nice. That's that's good. Yeah. I was waiting for my moment, guys. Waiting Pretty for good. That's moment. from before you were born, Stu. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now this song came out. Uh, this same, this song came out in the last ten years. Okay. And uh, I want. I'm going to make this one a little harder. I want the title and the band name. I want both. Mm, read for yourself, my man. Never know what is in your heart. It's tough. Weep, little lion man. Not as brave as you were at the start. I want the artist, too. Now rate yourself and rate yourself. Take all the courage you have left. Mumford and Sons. Wow. I'm impressed. That was good. It took a little longer for people to, uh, it was better for me because then I could actually monitor what was being put on the, the chat screen. But I think that was a tough one for people. Uh, Steve Gang got that one first with the name and the, uh, the artist. I like it. I like it. So, uh, um, Okay, I'm gonna take a little, do a little bit of the hip song. If you have any other requests for any songs, I'm just gonna do a little of this, and then, uh, and then maybe we can do a few more um, trivia just to get the scores up. I know you're not keeping score right now, but I'll be anxious to see uh, which team wins. So this is uh, a Gord Downey, the hip tune. He was, uh, he was all for. One love here in Canada. He did wonderful things, and he just passed away a few years ago. And uh, and he loved this song. This is called "Ahead by a Century." And you can play along too if you want. First we can climb the tree, and maybe then we'll talk. Or sit inside and listen to our thoughts. Illusions are someday in cast memory golden light. No dress we have so, and this is our delight. All right, which city was tragically hip from? Little trivia. And that's why the horn had stung me. Kingston is right. They had a fever of a stream. With revenge and doubt. Until now we smoke them out. And you are head by century. Cause you are head by century. Point 
All right, little snippet of that. I'm, I knew the Canadians mostly knew that, that they were from Kingston, Ontario. And uh, okay, I think if there was any other requests, I'm gonna just keep on going and throw them in there. But I want to get back to the trivia because I want to keep this keep the show rolling here for you guys. And uh, I want the song title and the artist again because I want it to be a little bit more difficult. The only clue is that they're from the U.S. Well, I heard some people talking just the other day. And they said they were gonna put me on the shelf. I tell you, I got some news for you. Eagles. So who got that? Already gone, the Eagles. Stairway to hell. We had Garth Lee coming in first again on that one, Don. Okay. I don't yeah, know. If uh, Nick, in. if you could just just for the audience, who came second on that one? I'm just curious. Uh Steve? Steve, oh, okay. Steve guys, on this time, yeah. Guys, a round of applause for Steve for getting second. Second for place. Some, some love. I, I, yeah, I think I, the fingers. The fingers must be getting closer to the brain, Steve. Yeah, I'm just trying to bring my keyboard a little closer to my uh, my face. I think that might help. <laughs> who, who, who are the eel gels? The eagles. I'd say, uh, Paul, there's no need for um, questions like that at this point. Okay, sorry. sorry. The eel gels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the eel gels. The cover band <laughs> of the eagles. <laughs> I love it. Their offspring. Okay, let's do it. And uh, I want um, song title and the artist again. No clue on this. I'm coming out of my cage and now I'm doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. I started out with a kiss, I did it and I'm like this. It was only a kiss, it was only a kiss. And now I'm falling asleep. She's calling a cow, well, she Mr. Brightside, the killers. Good job. I'm impressed. Uh, I don't know. All right. And so Chris, Jake says, I don't Chris know. Bunker was so close with just the killers, but we needed both. And that, that's going to go to Jeremy again. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Mr. Brightside. Mr. Brightside. All right, uh, let's take it. Uh, let's take it back to the '80s. Both song title and artist. Well, I guess it would be nice and if I could touch your body. I know not everybody's got a body like Steve, but I gotta think twice before I give my heart away and not know all the games to play because I play them too. Oh, but I need some time on that emotion. Need a time to pick my heart up off the floor. Faith, George Michael. Ooh. Ooh, this one's tight. But, but Kai, Kai got it. Did, did Kai get it? You know what I was thinking? I was wondering if our chats were at all different like how they filter in because we're all over the world. Like maybe the Canadian ones be there. Or I was just wondering if that was a thing or not. Side thought. But Kai got it. Okay. Okay. Good job. And, uh, I'm going to accept two different answers on this and you'll understand those who know, no. But I want the artist and whatever artist covered this song and the song title. Okay. Heading down south to the land of the pines, and I'm from my way up in North Carolina. Staring up the road, pretty God, I see headlights. 
Well, you made it down the coast in 17 hours, and I'm picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers. And I'm a hope for really, I can see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. The guy from Hootie, the guy from Hootie, that's funny. It is the guy from Hootie, but Old Crow Medicine Show, Wagon Wheel, or Darius Rucker uh, covered it after. And just for a little trivia, Bob Dylan has uh, writing credits on that song as well for the verses. So who got that, Nick? All right, uh, we had Jeremy Diamond get that with the old Crow Medicine show, but I think just to give a shout out on Darius, we did have several people bring that up, uh, and I think it was Jake who pulled that first. So we might have to give a point for each. Okay, I like it. Sure, why not? I'm I'm feeling generous today, uh, giving out the points, you know, because this is all for bragging rights, guys. Uh, or higher commissions. <laughs> um, okay, let's do uh, let's do a couple more. How about we do a couple more? And um, hmm. I want title and artist. You know this. And I was scared of dentist in the dark. I was scared of pretty girls in starting conversations. All my friends then did in green. You're the magician assisting in the dreams. Vance Joy is the right answer. Did Jeremy get it again? He did. I think other people are getting tired. Their their typing fingers are falling down. I think so. I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are gonna get this one. What's the band name? I want just the band name. And we are the champions, my friend. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, he's got Keep on fighting till the end. Oops, sorry. Thanks, John. I love it. That's okay. All right. So I, got John, one. I got one for you. Okay, go for it, John. Okay. Guess the name of the band. All right, okay. the artist. Since my baby left me. I found a new place to dwell. Down that lonely street to Heartbreak Hotel. I get so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely. I could die. Oh, guys, give it up for John. Very nicely done. Playing along with you, John. It's been great. Yeah. Robbie, good job, buddy. Thanks, baby boy. That is beautiful. I love that. Elvis, I couldn't get it in there fast enough. Look, I was third. I was like, oh, trying to get that in. I know Elvis well because my I grew up with my dad always playing Elvis. So all right, all right. Let's see if you can guess this Elvis song. Elvis song. Okay. See who gets this first. She said she was high class, and now they was a lie. She said she was high class, that was a lie. Well, you ain't never seen a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't know about a hound dog. Hound dog. There you go. Is that actually Big Mama Thornton? Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> who got the queen? Who got the queen one? Did we, everybody. Did we figure out who got the queen? Oh, everybody. John D. Qu Quinnen. 
<laughs> Kai, I think you were right at the top though on Queen. There were a lot of a lot of answers that we had to scroll oh, through, but Kai got it. Sorry for the fake win, John. <laughs> He's on my team. It's all good. So I, I think we're at, are we at the, the bottom of the hour, aren't we? Wow. Let's do one more. I know some people are going to have to drop off. I just want to thank everybody for, for coming in, our partners, our colleagues at RBC on, on uh, everyone's behalf, Don. Just want to thank you for lightening up our day like this. Uh, some of us are heading into a uh, long weekend. In some parts of the world, this is kind of an early uh, treat for us, Don. You're an Thanks. awesome someday we'll meet, but I'm glad to call you a friend. The yep. romance continues. I love it. My typing will improve someday. I'll be back. But Don, we really appreciate you and what you've been able to do today. And uh, thanks for checking in. I'll let you play us out with anything that you feel like doing. And okay, if you're okay. hang around, we will. Okay, it sounds good. And thanks for having me. You guys are a great team. Uh, I love playing. I love that. Uh, you got the whole world here together. You know, it's it's great that we can do this. And you guys were a great bunch to uh, play for. You, I love the participation, the smiling, the laughter. I don't know if uh, you left the the guitar player, but I'll leave you with this one. And just really quickly, while Don's just strumming there, if anyone yeah. would like to reach out to Don for any reason or to have an event or anything like that, I'll be so bold as to say we can put you in touch with Don for any reason. Yeah. Um, because he's a working man like the rest of us, right, Don? Yeah, absolutely. Pivoting. I just put my website there in the link, but reach out to Steve. Uh, reach out to me anytime if you're looking for uh, some fun, entertainment, an hour, whatever. Uh, uh, I, I do that also. And I'm approachable, a good guy, just like you guys. You guys are good. And uh, thanks again for having me. So, uh, all right, so yeah, I can I can play you guys out. Uh, I thought I'd play you out with the one love, uh, just the way we kind of started it. And uh, is, Srini, is Srini still here? All right. You know, I like the participation over there, uh, John. So I'm gonna get John to help me out here, and maybe I'll get you guys. One love. One heart, sing, let's get together and feel all right. One love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. But we we're thinking, Srini and I were talking, we're like, it's kind of one love, one team. I know it's a little cheesy, but it kind of works. We one love, but we're one team. Let's get together and feel all right. All right, Trini, I want you to repeat after me. You're going to help me out here, okay? My name is John. Right? It's team. <laughs> one team. I, want I like you to that idea. Yeah, Trini's going to sing. I want you to unmute yourself and John too. Ready? So I'm gonna go. One love. Ready for it? One love. <laughs> Let's get together and be alright. All right, Steve. I want you involved too. You gotta do it too. Ready? One love. Ready? One team. Hey, let's get together and feel. Last time, but I want you all to unmute yourself. Everybody here. Come on. Why not? One love. Love. Ready? One team. That just sounded bad. Be all right. <laughs> Thank you! Way to go, Don. Love you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. Thanks Love so you much. all. Thanks, Don. Have a good, good day. Bye. All right. Thank you. See you, folks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dave. Good job, everyone.